All right, in this part of the video training, we're going to go through the song, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Now, this one has a lot of vocabulary in it, all right? And I chose it because for, for a number of good reasons. One is, it is a song that everybody knows, I think. It's an older song, and everybody knows it, I think. And because sometimes I like to put in a song that is a little more challenging than all the rest. This one is the one that's a little more challenging. It's not hard, okay? It's, uh, it just has more words to learn in it, okay? It actually is about the same length as all the other songs. So without any further ado, this is the vocabulary for Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. And like I suggest on all the other songs, I suggest you go through and read the words. Okay? Read them. Get to where you feel them. If you trust in Jesus, I mean really trust in Jesus, this song will be powerful to you. And that power, if you can feel that power, that power will show in your signs. Okay? So I encourage you, read through the song. Understand it. Know what's being said. And that will make it a lot easier to sign the way it's intended to be signed. I also encourage that you go through and you do this in phrases and not individual words. You'll, I do this, say this at the beginning of each one of these things that I do vocabulary with. If you learn the words, great. You have to know how to put them together. okay? Because we don't really speak in words. We speak in phrases. And your signing should be in phrases. And so, as you learn these, learn them as phrases instead of words. Understand what I'm saying there? So, don't, don't learn, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Learn, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Alright? Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Learn those as two different phrases. Okay? And then run them together. That'll make your signs so much prettier. Alright, so here we go. Without further ado, here is the vocabulary. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Alright? Tis. That's not a word. That's, that's, that's a contraction. It means it is. Or truly it is. Or yeah, man, it is. Alright? So I'm going to sign that as Tis so sweet, so. So is one of those odd English words that has no definition. Okay? Define the word so. It has no definition outside of its connecting words around it. It's an emphasis word. So, tis so is nothing more than an emphasis of the word sweet. Understand what I'm saying? I could say something is sweet, or I could say it's a whoa, that's sweet. Two different things, same word. Tis so is like, wow, that is. All right? So uh, we're going to sign that as truly sweet. It's just two fingers running down the chin. It's kind of like when you've had pancakes for breakfast and the dessert gets here and you just kind of wiping it off. All right, sweet. To trust in Jesus. Two. In sign language, we drop out a lot of these little bitty words, a little bitty, what I call connector words. To trust in Jesus, to and in. We're going to leave those words out. They're going to be shown in action. All right? Show you what I mean. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. All right? Truly sweet trust Jesus. Makes perfect sense when you add in the expression and the body language that goes in that. Just to take him at his word. Okay? Just. Is a letter J, and, and there's got to be a little bit of knee action in there too. Can't do just. Alright? That's just the letter J. Just. Okay? Just. Got to get a little emphasis in there. Just. To take him at his word. To leave it out. Take him at his word. Are we actually going to take Jesus? 
We're going to pick them up and bring them and put them somewhere else? I don't think so. Okay? Just to accept him at his words. I think maybe that's what the author meant. Sometimes in interpreting, we have to choose different words because the sign for one word doesn't reflect the meaning that's intended. So the meaning is what's more important. So I'm going to change this again just a little bit. Just to accept him. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, you're going to hear that a thousand times. Okay. Uh, just to take him at his word. Okay. Now, this, I'll be honest, the deaf probably would not sign it that way. But this is kind of poetry, and we're going to stick with the poetry uh, of this here. So we're going to take him at his word. Okay. Except, I'm going to take and bring it to me, I accept it. Him. A finger is your pronoun. You, me, he, she, it. And it's directional. If he happens to be sitting over there, then that's he. If it's Jesus, Jesus is up there. So that's where we point. And when we point up there, the deaf automatically go, ka -ching! that means Jesus. Or that means God. Okay? Uh, take him at... And it's just, it's just your fingernails driving into the back of your hand, all right? At his word, okay? And that is what we call an idiom. That's where we say, you know, if I'm going to take a uh, catch 40 winks, it means I'm not really for, for, wink 40 times. It means I'm going to take a short nap. Uh, at his word means keep his promises. But it is an idiom that the deaf would understand, okay? Sometimes we have to translate idioms because it doesn't make sense to them. If I were to hear catch 40 winks, I would sign it as take a short nap. Okay? Just to rest upon his promise. Okay? See here we got the word and the promise is connected. Just to rest upon his promise. Okay? Just, we've already did rest. We're not going to take a nap. This is rest. This is the sign for actually the word rest. Depend upon is what he really means. Depend upon his promise. In sign language, just like this is the pronoun for you, this is the pronoun for your. The open palm shows possession. Mine, yours, his, hers, his, okay? Uh, promise. It's the letter P. And then you make a pop. Okay, don't really make the pop. This is for demonstration only. Pop. Okay, promise. Uh, just to uh, just to know the saith the Lord. Just again, leave the word to out. To know the saith the Lord. Okay. And Listen, watch carefully on this one, okay? Just to know, all right? I got to get that head in there. It's there's a, there's a confidence that needs to be distributed and encouraged here. Just to know. In quotes, says the Lord, all right? Thus says the Lord. And Lord is the letter L done by your right hand if you're right-handed, starting at your left shoulder and coming down to your right hip. Okay? Uh, for some reason, these types of signs uh, get confused for everybody. I'm not going to show you how to do it wrong, because then I'll surely do it. I'll surely confuse you. Opposite shoulder, same hip. Okay? Thus saith the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, Ooh, how I trust him. All right, Jesus. I think all you probably already know this one. It's the palms where the nails were driven. And I use my center finger to touch those palms. If you use your index finger to touch those palms, 
that's fine too. They both work well. I use the center fingers. Okay, Jesus, Jesus, how? Now how is a question? And this isn't a question, this is them using a word to emphasize again. So I'm going to say truly, because this is how the deaf do emphasis, truly. I trust him. Trust. Takes a little bit of coordination here. Start with your hands out, and then move them together into T's. See how my both hands can end up in a T? Trust. Trust. And it, you start open, and you drew, bring them together to a T. Him. Okay? There's my pronoun again. Him. How I've proved him o'er and o'er. Okay? How? Again, the emphasis truly. I've. I, that's me, finished. This is like an ED ending. I finished doing. I am no longer doing any more. I in the past did. I've. Okay, I've proved him over and over. I've proved. They're just the facts, man. Right here is the proof. Proved him again and again. Okay, <clears throat> just a hand coming to the center of your palm. Your fingers touching the center of your palm. Over and over. Jesus, Jesus, precious. Jesus, okay, precious. It's the like F hands coming down here. I'm going to kind of do it this way so you can see what they look like, all right? And they just kind of circle up and come together so there's a hole in the middle, right? Precious Jesus. Oh, for grace to trust him more, okay? Oh, Start with the letter O, go down, around, up, and back to where you started. Okay? O, four, the letter, it's, it's a finger pointing to your forehead, just kind of circling out a little bit. Four, grace, circle, splat. This is like the, the light shining on Paul on Saul before he became Paul as he was walking down the road to, to Damascus. There was a light and it kind of hit him in the head. Okay? Grace. Oh, for grace. To trust him more. Trust him more. All your fingers are together, right? Leave this hand where it is by itself. Make another one and go. And dock like you were uh, a module on the space station. More. Okay. Okay. And that gets us through the first verse and the chorus. All right. Next verse. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus. Oh, I think we know all of those already. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to trust, still no new signs here. His, no new sign, cleansing blood. Okay, new signs. Cleansing. It's like you're washing dishes. Blood. You kind of twiddle your fingers and have it run down the edge here. Uh, I cannot think of a way to describe this sign that is kind of gross. Okay? So it's just blood running down the wall here. Okay? Cleansing blood, just in simple faith to plunge me. Okay, just in simple. Okay, left hand, the palm. You, you could look in your palm. You could see your palm. Okay, so your fingers are coming up like this. And simple. You're like you got something on your knuckles here, and you're kind of brushing them off. Simple faith to plunge me. Faith. If the F hands, and this F starts up here, and it comes down, and hits there. If you were blindfolded, you'd have to have faith to know that you were going to hit that right. 
Okay, faith to plunge me. Okay, this is talking about baptism, right? And baptize is this is me, this is you, and this is me slipping and falling in with you as we baptize you. Okay, we both go down, we both come up. Uh, that's baptize. I'm, I would have probably signed the sign this way, but it's this way. Okay, plunge me. Neath the healing, cleansing flood, beneath, okay, here's the water level, and we're going to be under it, okay, the healing, okay, it's kind of like grabbing your health and going, I am strong, all right, healing, cleansing, we already know that sign, blood, or flood, actually. Anytime you have water, you're going to have kind of a little emotion, a little motion like this that goes along with it. All right, flood. And a flood is water going up. Okay? All right. And then we have the chorus again. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him o'er and o'er. Okay, so I'm going to skip down to the next verse. Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus. Yes, new sign. Yes, okay. Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus. Okay, the only new sign in there was yes. See, it looks like a lot of vocabulary, but a lot of words here are repeated. Just from sin and self to cease. Just, okay, from. Hmm? Uh, in Toy Story, I'm sure everybody here has seen Toy Story. You got Woody. How does Woody talk? You have to pull a string on the back of his neck, all right, and let it go. That's kind of like what from is, all right. From sin, and the sin is two X hands, and they kind of come off the chin in certain kind of like semicircles, okay. Sin, okay. Just from sin and Open palm on one side, coming down to all fingers together on the other. And self, make an A hand and point to your chest. chest. Uh, just like this is a fing finger is you and a palm is yours. Uh, a hand pointed is also a pronoun for yourself. Okay? So myself, self, just from sin, just from sin and self to steeze. Stop. Cut it in half. It's dead. Stop. Okay? Cease. Just from Jesus simply taking. Okay? I think taking is the only new sign there. <coughs> Once again, sorry for the sneeze. Just, I'm sorry, uh, just from Jesus simply taking, okay, just from Jesus simply, we know all of those signs, taking, it's like there's a net flying through the air here and you're going to catch it. It's a slow net. You don't have to go to catch it. Just catch that net, all right? You're doing it slow motion. Okay, take, taking, <clears throat> life, and rest, and joy, and peace. Okay, we're going to have to get used and several times in there, so that's and. It's okay, life, L, coming up, life. Start kind of at your belt line or a little bit above, and just come straight up, life, and rest. It's the letter R, and just put your arms at a akimbo. All right, rest and joy. And you gotta have joy on your face. You can't be joyful, and you can't really even be joyful. You gotta get the eyebrows up. You gotta show that joy on your face. This is not the sign for joy. This is the sign for joy. Okay, see the difference? 
you got to get your face involved. Okay, life and joy and peace. It's kind of like coming down and smoothing things out. Like you're laying out, you're smoothing out the wrinkles in your sheets. There we go. All right, peace. Okay, and then we have the chorus again. Jesus, Jesus, how I love him. All right. Well, let's go down to the next verse. I'm so glad I learned to trust thee. Okay. Before I get to it, the word thee and the word you is the same word. So we're going to sign it as you. Here we go. I am, okay, in sign language, you have contractions, but you decontract them. We, in English, we kind of shorten them and make them I'm. In sign language, you make them I am. You decontract them. I don't know whether that's a word, but I've been using it forever. So decontract them. So I am. Okay, so I and the letter and am is an A coming off the chin. Now it's important that it come up here on the top part of your chin and not the bottom part. Because this is the sign for am and this is the sign for not. And unfortunately they're close in how you do them and they kind of almost are opposites to each other if you think about how that would sign. Okay? I'm so, again, that word so is just an emphasis. Emphasis. We're going to make it two, truly. Glad. All right. Glad, like joy, must show on your face. It's even more important for glad or happy to show on your face. Okay? Get your eyebrows involved. Get your cheekbones involved. Put a smile on your face. Let me see your teeth. Okay? Uh, because this is the sign for glad, happy, and if it's not happy, the sign is very similar, and it looks a whole lot the same, and it's the sign for throwing up, okay? So if you're not happy, you're throwing up. So be happy if you're going to sign that sign, all right? Glad. I'm so glad I learned I have something here, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to put it in my brain. I have learned to trust you. Okay, no new signs there. Precious, well, that's not a new sign either. Jesus, not a new sign. Savior, there we go, that's a new sign. Save is the letter, is it letter S's on your hand, coming out, and then this. Okay, we do this all the time. Um, we will say a um, um, a person who does something. A uh, I'm now draw, drawing a complete blank. We'll we'll put E R at the end. Okay, a person who mills is a miller, right? A person who banks is a banker. A person that saves is a saver, a savior, okay? This thing here at the end takes the word and makes a person that does that word, okay? I call it occupationalizing. All right, big word. Friend. Hook this way, hook that way, friend. Or you do friend like this and it's like a really good friend, okay? And I know that thou art with me. All of a sudden we, we switched into King James here. I'm not real sure why. But it's pretty simple. And I know. This is. I know. Okay. We used this before, right? No. Uh, and I know <coughs> that thou art with me. Thou art with me. And will uh, be with me to the end. Okay? And I know that, we're going to word that out. Thou, that's kind of like him, G, U, whatever. Thou are, art, are with me. With is just two hands coming together. 
with me, me pointing to myself, will be with me, okay, will, and the hand passing past your ear, will be or continue, either way, continue is probably a better sign, but we'll probably sign it this way, be with me to the end, all right? To, let's not actually get there, all right? This, actually, this is more like until. And put it out here a little ways, because that's how far out you want to be, because this is talking about dying. You don't want to be dying real close. You want to be dying way out there, okay? Until or to the end, okay? And it's important to not do unto the end. You want to connect those signs here. So unto the end. And then we have the chorus again. All right. So that is the whole vocabulary for tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Practice this in phrase. Practice this in phrases. Okay? Really, really important. Because only in phrases will it actually look like you're communicating. And it'll make it so much easier for you to remember when you go to LTC to do this. All right. Once you get where you're comfortable with all the signs, go on to the next video, which will have me singing the song really, really slowly. You will feel like it has taken forever to get through the song. The song will actually finish a lot quicker in real life. But I'll be going through it really, really slow here shortly. Okay? Look forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.